All right, it's time for a construction update. And to start it off right off the bat, it looks like they're starting to replace some fencing in the Timberwolf Path. Um, I think they do this every year, so it's of not any significant importance, I don't believe. Um, they were rushing the um, Lakeside Lagoon area like really quickly today. So I think it's gonna be open tomorrow. They have construction fences going up, which you're gonna see shortly. Um, but that brings me to Timberwolf Falls. So there was a lot of work on Timberwolf Falls today, um, which you'll see in a couple other clips a little later. Um, and after reviewing um, Timberwolf Falls and being in the area and seeing how popular it was today, I really don't think it's gonna be removed anytime um, soon. I honestly think it might get a slight upgrade um, along with this project. I think we're gonna see a big Frontier Canada launch in 2019. And this might be one of the things on that expansion list. There's a lot they can do. They can add a storyline, some animatronics, or even just some theming in general um, to make it a lot better. Um, so as you'll see in this clip, you're gonna see a lot of um, activity in the Timberwolf area. They were doing a lot of work near the um, footers. And then in another clip later, you're gonna see some fencing, some of that Canadiana fencing being installed back there, which I was slightly confused by. I didn't understand why there would be a need for fencing back there, unless there's gonna be maybe a building under there or in that area or or something. But yeah, some of this like fencing that you see here, it's it's in under Timberwolf now. So I was a little confused by that and I'm gonna be paying close attention to that as well as that develops. But as you can see, we have some Canadiana lamp posts being installed in this area. Um, and it looks really nice. And also, as you can see, there's a construction wall. So I didn't think, I was hoping maybe there wouldn't be a construction wall, but obviously there is. So there won't be any really good shots to grab as that looks like a really tall construction wall. Um, but yeah, and also there's um, a weird cement cylinder thing as you see in the middle of the path there. And I'm wondering if that's gonna be like the Splashworks sign or maybe even a like Frontier Canada sign or the name of the coaster sign. Um, I'm wondering what it would, it could potentially be, but it looks like it's cement poured, or maybe it's just sitting there waiting for cement. It's too large to be a lamppost cement thing. But yeah, they're they're working really hard today. As you said, I just got spotted. Hashtag spotted. <laughs> but yeah, lots of work. Um, they're dumping gravel in the station area too. Um, so that was interesting. Um, could be for, to be honest, I don't even know what it could be for. I love how I'm like about to say what it could be for, but I have no idea. So I'm just not gonna continue with that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, definitely dumping gravel, as you can see in the station and transfer track area. Um, and I honestly feel like the station is gonna, or the queue line for the station is gonna be located in the viewing area that now looks kind of like a midway, cause it's a lot, it's a very large oval shape in that area. So that would suggest um, a stationary. Now this is what's interesting. See this gap they've left in the fence there. Um, it, behind there is a lot of markers. So I'm intrigued by that. There's a lot of orange and red and yellow markers back there. So I'm starting to feel like, I'm, I'm wondering what that could be for. They've purposely left this gap in the, the fence for them to go have easy access to. So I'm really interested in that. Um, as you can see, they haven't started building more of the footers yet. Um, and the construction fence is set up. And later on in the clip, you'll see the construction fence completely done all the way up to the Splashworks entrance. So there's not gonna be any really good vantage points except for me, I'm six foot three, so I can reach over the fence. Um, as you can see here, there's a footer dug out there. Um, it has been poured and then there's one there. So this is the area I was talking about with the turn out of the station or the brake run coming into the station. There's definitely signs of a turn out of the station that leads up into a lift hill that probably goes and up at an angle towards the tunnel. Um, this is, this method would provide a, um, a much larger path for them to have a larger lift hill um, with a 45 degree angle of ascent. I'm trying to think of what I saw here. Oh, this is them bringing in more construction fencing. <laughs> Sad face. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to think of what else I like, saw on the construction site today. It was just so much activity. Like they, Splashworks opens tomorrow, so they have a lot to get done. By the way, I'll be there first thing tomorrow morning. And then on Sunday, I'll be there um, grabbing some footage and doing something special. So super excited about that. Um, so yeah, here's a better shot of the pathway. So you have those Canadiana, you know, lamp posts. They look really nice. Glad they went with this. So that obviously shows the, the whole Canadiana theme coming up to this area and slightly confirms the whole Canadiana theme for this new coaster. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sad face construction fence. Uh, and there's that like um, cylinder cement thing in the center of the path. 
It's definitely for a sign, I believe. Like, uh, entering Frontierland. I'm assuming Frontierland in, like, Big or Splash Ricks and Big or the name of the coaster in Big. Something. Um, this is, so there's the new Muskoka chairs for the new, um, Lakeside Lagoon. They look super nice. Um, and they're under the new shading area. They're building the fence for it. They're working really hard. So those were being dropped off today while I was there. And there's the end of the path towards Splashworks. As you can see, it weaves in and out of the footers, and there's the viewing area for the drop or tunnel um, with the river rock. It looks super nice. I'm trying to think if there was anything else of note in this area. Um, just lots of work. Like that, you could tell they're rushing. Like not in a bad way, like in a good way. Like getting stuff done for opening tomorrow, um, cleaning up. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, like. I, I'm really hoping to get some good views of footer. Like, there's the footer, though, right in the path that we're going to be able to see. So that would be cool, being right up next to a footer. So here's the construction workers and the activity going on in Timberwolf Falls. And if you look closely, you can see that Canadiana fencing I was talking about right there. That is, like, right near the drop. So I'm like, hmm, the smoking area didn't go that far back before. What is this new area that's being built under Timberwolf? And there's footers there, too. So I'm, like, really curious. Is the... Is this going to be another element of the coaster where you can view it from? Like, that would be really cool. So, obviously, I'm going to be there first thing tomorrow morning to check that out. Super intrigued to wonder why there... I'm wondering why there is, like, that Canadian fencing that deep in the woods there. Um, so, yeah. I'll update you guys tomorrow on that. Super excited about that. Um, trying to think of what else was going on under Timberwolf. As you saw earlier, I got another shot of the, the footer. There are footers in that area. The footers from the tunnel lead into that area. So we know the coaster heads in that direction. Now the question is how far north, um, northwest is this coaster gonna head? Um, that is um, what's on my mind because the footer stops right there at Timberwolf Falls next to um, the lift hill. And I have no idea where the coaster is gonna go after that. Obviously, if it's a dive, it should be heading back to the station because those things don't have a lot of stamina. Um, to be going that far. Here's timber kits finishing off their structure. Um, when I first got there, there was none of that. Then, you know, by the time I left, like three hours later, it was like the roofing was already going on this structure. So they work really fast. These buildings look gorgeous. I'm super happy with the decision to include them in Splashworks. And I'm hoping that they have something to do with this coaster station as well. Um, I'm really hoping for a Dollywood, like Wild Eagle type station for this new coaster. I think that would just look absolutely stunning. Um, what do you guys think? What do you guys want to see out of the station for this new coaster? Um, do you want like a really nice like Muskoka or Canadiana theme station that's like grand and large like Dollywood's Wild Eagle? Or are you expecting some other kind of design? Comment below what you guys think. Anyways, thanks for watching. Give the video a like, comment, um, share if you would like. Um, thanks. Have a good one, guys. Bye.